the rational behind that is actually the reputation of HKU and also the global ranking. Like when we are studying here, we have speakers from regional um, headquarters of international brands like Walmart, um, APAC Head came to talk to us. It is time to explore more opportunities and it's time to get maturity. I'm a consumer reporter at Bloomberg News and uh, I'm already in my year one at the University of Hong Kong's MBA program. So I'm the head of cybersecurity for a multinational retail company and I'm leading a regional team consists of different uh, profiles as well. I was born and raised in Shanghai. I'm a senior innovation manager in an IT consulting company uh, with its headquarters in Paris. Over with 10 years working experience in different industries, I've accumulated and polished my business skills most practically. But the longer I work, I feel the more necessity to catch up with systematic knowledge and best practices in different industries. So I just have this idea to pursue an MBA degree. I think part-time MBA are offering the flexibilities to make my work, life, and family balance. It's the best option for me uh, considering the opportunity cost. Um, I didn't consider full-time because I was really looking at the synergy between my work and uh, the MBA program. I don't want to just forego every practical experiences and go back to school. I think the nice thing about having an MBA degree and then you have to work is that from Monday to Friday you are like working and producing but then on Saturday you are now absorbing knowledge. What kind of like questions you have from work in the previous week can immediately be solved if you have that right professor in front of you. And I just want to share some of my experience in my whole MBA journey. Actually, it is quite good uh, and a wonderful experience for me. And I can make acquaintance with the business leaders in different industries and the backgrounds. Typically, I was considering things from IT or technology point of view before. But after the MBA program, I'm able to think in from business and uh, branding or marketing perspective because our weekend class, we do have students from the entire Greater Bay Area. So it was like, yeah, I'm not only learning from the professor, not only learning from the course, I'm learning from a lot of uh, classmates around me. I think that's the most important because like actually in work, you work with people that are like you, like very much like you. You have the same trajectory that gets you to that place. But this is really like one step you put yourself back and then really throw yourself into a wide range of basket and <laughs> learn from unexpected people. <laughs> Global pandemic brings a lot of change to our life. It changed the way we live, we work as well as we communicate with each other. But it doesn't uh, have any impact on the position of Hong Kong as an international hub. I really think the hybrid mode will become to be the new normal in the near future after the pandemic as well. Especially for the students in Shenzhen and also the students subject to travels and also relocations. But I do hope like when COVID is over, like things can return to normal. But that doesn't mean Hong Kong is affected as a good education place because I really think it blends the like Western trends and the Asian trends very well. Like it has this natural advantage that can be eroded. I trust and I believe um, it is a worthwhile investment uh, for your personal growth as well as your career development. I think life is short, so if you want to have more exposures over the international business environments, do join this program. It will be absolutely benefit your future. Not that many institutions that can offer this kind of like blend of um, Asian culture and Western culture at one place.